Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how to create not one, but two easy to make salt scrubs. They're both exfoliating and detoxifying and the perfect way to get rid of rough, dry skin, especially on your feet. Wanna see how I make these super simple, easy salt scrubs? Keep watching. salt scrubs you need two different types of salt the first one I'm going to be using is Epsom salt so Epsom salt is the perfect way to detox those tired muscles whether it's all over the body on our feet and elbows or any other rough areas of the body so this recipe I'm using a half cup of Epsom salt I'm measuring it out and then placing it into my mixing bowl so next, I'm going to be using one half cup of dead sea salt. So you might be wondering, what's the difference between the two? Well, there definitely is a difference and I will be explaining that to you shortly. But before I do, let's add a couple of more ingredients. So let's add in an oil that not only moisturizes the skin, but helps to seal in that moisture. Let's add jojoba oil. And for this recipe, I'm adding 1 4 cups or 32 grams for those who prefer to use grams. Now before we measure our next oil, let's reset our scale. So for an additional layer of moisture and to help even out skin tone and add suppleness to the skin, I'm adding grapeseed oil. It's rich in vitamin C and E and it's light so it won't overpower the skin. So now let's combine our oils and salts together. I'm adding in jojoba oil first and now I'm going to stir my mixture. So back to the difference between Epsom salt and dead sea salt. So you might be surprised to hear this, but Epsom salt actually doesn't contain any salt at all. It's actually made up of magnesium flakes and magnesium is a naturally occurring mineral. Dead sea salt actually comes from the Dead Sea and it's composed of, you guessed it, salt, as well as about 20 other minerals. So now I'm adding in the grapeseed oil. And once again, I'm stirring to make sure my ingredients are mixed really well together. Now, like I mentioned earlier, dead sea salt contains about 20 minerals, and some of those include magnesium, of course. It also contains calcium, potassium, iron, and zinc, just to name a few. Now I'm adding in my vitamin E, about five mLs, and I'm gonna continue stirring. So now that my salts, oils, and vitamin E are combined, I'm going to split up my mixture into two different bowls since I'm planning to have two different types of salt scrubs. So this next step is always the fun part for me because I get to decide what color scrub I want to create. And for this one, I've chosen this beautiful deep blue mica. So I chose this color because it's relaxing, soothing, and cool. It seems like the perfect color for an at-home spa pedicure. So you can use this scrub as a body or foot exfoliant or purely as a bath soak. So just keep in mind that since you are using mica, if you use too much, it can leave a slight ring of color around your tub if using as a soap, but washes away with a little bit of soap and water. And as an alternative, you can also add clays to color your body scrubs. Now I'm adding my next color to the remaining salt scrub. And for this one, I chose a sort of pinky magenta color because it gives off a bright and happy vibe. So with mica, a little goes a long way. So don't go overboard with adding it. If you decide to try out this salt scrub recipe, just be sure to mix well so that the color is distributed evenly.
Now that both of my colors are completely mixed, I'm going to add in my scent. And for this salt scrub, I'm adding a fragrance oil that's sort of fruity and very uplifting. It almost smells like sweet berries. It smells really yummy. And for my blue relaxing scrub, I'm adding in peppermint essential oil and a lavender essential oil. So both of these scents smell so good together. They're two of my favorite essential oils. Now that both of my salt scrubs are complete, I'm going to add them to my four ounce jars. So I did not add a preservative as I won't be getting any water in these products. And normally I scoop out my products with a spoon when I use it. So these scrubs are for my personal use and can last about six months, but I'm sure I will have used them up way before then. As a side note, you can always add a label to your scrub so that you know exactly what you are using, especially if you're like me and you make both salt and sugar scrubs, as they both kind of look alike. And lastly, I'm just filling up my second jar with the pink fruity salt scrub. This was a super simple recipe that will have your skin smooth to the touch. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Ingredients can be found in the description box below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.